protecting your witness. Or people say, keeping your testimony. You'll hear like Christian uh, phrases is like, hey man, don't lose your testimony. When people are getting hot and they're getting angry and they're yelling at each other like, hold on bro, don't, don't lose your testimony, right? You're supposed to be a Christian. So I'm gonna share with you a couple of words. Uh, the Apostle Paul, uh, he teaches to his, his mentee, uh, Timothy. Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who does not need to be ashamed and who currently handles the word of truth. Avoid godless chatter because those who indulge in it will become more and more ungodly. So when I talk about keeping your testimony, keeping your, uh, your witness, right, what I'm talking about is if you claim to be a Christian and you walk around on this campus and people know that and you come to a club like this and they're going to see you walk out of that club, you represent something greater than yourself. Imagine it's like you have this spiritual jersey on and then on the back it says, I belong to God or God's child. And everywhere you go, people are going to see that's God's child. And so every action you do, they're going to look at you as that's God's child. And so we have the responsibility when we walk around this campus, when we talk to people, when we interact with people to represent God and all those things. I want to talk about social media. I want to talk about these cell phones, right? Because all of you guys probably have one. And you present a totally different self on social media than you do in real life. And the way you talk to people on social media isn't representing Christ. We think this quarrelsome talk, this getting in foolish arguments is just in person. But no, nowadays everyone's doing it like this. Your Instagram says this Bible verse. Why don't you tell me what Philippians 4.13 says? Uh, is that that one that's, I'm like, look, dude, you're playing games. You're trying to pretend that you're a Christian. You ain't protecting your witness or your testimony. See, we can't put this false image out there. If we're going to live it, we got to live it. I ain't going to listen to what he's saying. He ain't living it out. He ain't doing it right. I've lost all credibility, right? I've lost my testimony. I've lost my witness because I'm not, I don't have the reputation that's going with what I'm preaching. Jesus would talk about some things, but he was also, he would be about it. And he's like, I ain't got to say all these things. You can see me and you'll see the Father. You spend time with me, you've been spending time with God. Not only that, but when you live in a way that contradicts what you say, people see you as a liar. And that doesn't only, like, hinder your image and your witness, but it also um, makes Christians as a whole look bad. He said the worst thing that someone could say to a Christian is, oh, you're a Christian? I never knew. Because then, what does that say about you, like, um, the Bible says they'll know us by our fruits. So if you're walking around and acting like them, what fruits are you showing to your friends and how are you being a witness to them? I pray that you would just give them strength, you would encourage them, Lord. I pray if there's anything inside of them that is not of you that you don't want there, that you would remove it. God, I pray that you would help them uh, to see the things of you and uh, God, remove all this the stuff that we have in our life that doesn't really even matter, God. I pray you would help them to see their testimony as something to live for, God, their reputation, their witness, their character, the way they treat people, the way they talk about people, the way they interact with each other, Lord, that it would be something so dynamic and different on this campus that people would say, what is it about that person that's so different? And when that opportunity comes, they would be able to say, it's, it's God. It's Jesus that's in my life. It's not me doing anything. He's changed me, and he's continually changing who I am. So I hey! 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 Hey!